Hey guys, what's up? I promised you in my last video that uh, my next video is gonna be about uh, some reverse electro plating. So tonight in my workshop we do some reverse electro plating. Okay. okay guys, this is the guys, this is the setup. Uh, you already know what is this from my last video. This is from the door from the wash machine and this is uh, extreme good stuff. It's cheap and uh, he's uh, very good to stand with a uh, high temperature and boiling liquids, especially acid. So we got this from the for the pot. For the cathode, the minus wire, we use this is the lead. I not make bar, this is just a lead pipe, I cut on the, on the side and uh, I make stand here, this is the place where I cut my ice and uh, for the anode I got this mesh So look how it's cool looking. So okay, this is not. I just want to say to you, this is not a copper mesh. Uh, in every video on the internet, I uh, see that only copper mesh is used. But uh, for me, it's be a little harder to find copper, uh, and uh, I before some time and I think uh, what is be the best replace for copper and uh, brass is uh, alloy copper so this is the brass mesh and uh, it's strong very strong so it's very looking cool but this time we not use that this is a uh, system what I uh, use uh, for the bigger batch when I uh, got some couple of pounds of uh, pins that uh, I need to uh, fill with the uh, acid this dish so I um, for now I got only about uh, Four hundred grams of pins. So uh, for this device, it's a bit too much. I need a liquid about that. This is about uh, two liter, and uh, this is much more much acid for this little amount of uh, pins. So for the that will leave for the next time. If somebody of you sent me some pins to process for him a couple of pounds or I get, I get myself some good pins I will make some new video but uh, for this time we got some other system for the little amount of Pins because a uh, couple of times uh, some of the people sent me, my friends or somebody else sent me uh, something, to, some material to I process for him and uh, uh, not only pins, it's finger, it's chi IC chips, but uh, pins is uh, 200 grams, 300 grams, uh, one pound and uh, in the, this way I deal with a small amount of min pins the same lead bar just other shape and the same mesh but other shape and look at that so in this way when I put the liquid it's a uh, little amount of, of liquid, uh, it's enough 
uh, process all that little pins. So okay, let's fill this and start with the process. Okay, we fill our mesh with the pins. This is mostly pins from the folder, so it's not. Uh, this pins is not uh, full plated. It's uh, just top, but I got I got here some cool pins. It's not full plated, but it's a good plating. Very fat plating. See that? So okay, and uh, you see how it's strong. This brass mesh. It's very hard. For our power, we use the power supply from the, my last video, and uh, we will start now. I use this hammer to catch my dish so we are we have to put the gloves for this process use your use gloves use your glasses gargoyles what you want to call it now on the mesh, we catch that uh, red anode, plus plus anode, and uh, minus is go for the lead cathode. Everything is uh, safe. So. Now we will add some sulfuric acid, 96%. Be very careful when you do that, because that stuff could burn your skin to the bones. Just need to little more. Okay, that will be enough. So it's okay. Just enough to cover all that pins. Okay, that will be enough. And let's start. Okay, now we will turn our electricity. And I just want to show you. See that? Reaction, it's already start. So, what is the time need for this is about uh, five minutes it's enough 
to finish one batch and uh, I don't know if you see that shit I'm wearing, wearing the gloves I can uh, I can't <laughs> okay you see that black powder which leave the mesh this is the gold and go in solution this is the gold so this stuff is a uh, work super see the mesh is already black all the stuff okay So you see what happened, just to front your eyes and now back for the about uh, 5 minutes. Just show you that I using my old equi equipment, see that, uh, glasses and other stuff. This is after only 2 minutes, see that. All that black stuff is gold. I just want to say more one word. You see that bubbles? Uh, till bubble uh, exists, the process not finished. When the bubbles and that uh, white stuff on the top uh, disappeared, then its process is finished so this is the the best timing for you when no reaction on the top of the solution the process is finished we still got some bubbles see how the dark solution looking good you see that it's no more bubbles no more reaction on top so our batch is finished uh, this is about uh, 100 grams in the batch I got still the process this so now we are turn off our power supply and uh, change these pins I just want to show you how pins looks now you see that a lot of pins still got the gold inside so I will just shake it, maybe it's not uh, got uh, good contact and uh, uh, probably is uh, gold is much fatter than that I thought, couple of micron stronger. So we will turn, return this in the, that batch and give that extra time. Okay, we got our next batch. See that this uh, stuff, which is flying uh, from the camera, it's uh, dust from my carpenter workshop. And I just want to see how pins look now. See that it's all the black, but uh, still got a couple of pins here. So one. Here's just one. Still got some gold here. Still got a little layer. But uh, I will process that again. I will rinse that with water and uh, leave it to dry and process that again. But not now. Uh, one important stuff it's a never play with water in the, the in the so when you close the, the sulfuric acid because uh, water and the sulfuric acid is not a good friend if just one drop water splash in this dish the reaction is uh, oh, pretty bad 
but uh, you see at the end uh, you 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 could uh, put uh, acid in the water in the re reverse way because uh, water in the acid never and the uh, acid in the water yes but uh, little and slowly I already prepare our dish for the ne neutralize everything on the end sorry I got some hiccup and uh, I got our my big catch pan and uh, this is the small with the water when we finish all this we put that acid easily slowly in that water and uh, the rest I will tell you at the end okay I repeat again all that pins because some pins is left this finally batch is uh, finished so what we do next is that we remove that pins probably, probably still got some pins inside which contains the gold but in this way we cannot this small that small pins and someone is high in that pile so we remove that in other bucket and what we do next is the that we return again our pins already processed pins just for case that someone is kept some electricity and uh, strip that gold from it I got a very saturated sulfuric acid so I am very clumsy with the gloves and you see that still got some reaction some pins are exposed herself okay you know the point so I will process all this in that way again and I'm back when I finish so look what looks like our solution it's so dark and you got a pretty good some slug inside can I show you look on that lead got some slug and uh, now I will uh, I will place that solution in that bucket with the water but easily very easily okay I will do that See all that slug. So now reaction is probably be a uh, very hot, but do that very easily.
Now the reason why we do that is because uh, sulfuric acid is not liquid like water, it's more like syrup and uh, it's via very hard to filter so when we put that in the water we just wait till the morning and uh, everything what left on the bottom of that bucket we collect and uh, process with aqua regia Oh, see that? If you put that, all that inside together, probably it be some crappy reaction. Okay, here's the point. Everything this must be in the bucket. Okay, we finish for tonight. Uh, we leave that. This uh, little bucket is full. We leave that uh, to settle down in the morning. Don't forget to your mesh and uh, not leave, but. Uh, only mesh uh, put on the water in the water for the night uh, to remove uh, the left from the sulfuric acid. You see that that brass mesh is uh, perfect stuff, the same like copper. And uh, I clean and I rinse that uh, pins a couple of times, and uh, when you see. Right now, when I remove all that black slug, there is no more gold on it, just a little shine from the copper. It's perfect. So we keep this, let this dry on the sun, and just for case, see is there any more gold. And from pins, this is the rinse water. You see that? It's a lot of black powder inside. So we leave that the morning to settle down. And uh, in the morning, we will decant the extra water and we put that uh, through the filter. And uh, the next step is uh, to process that with uh, aqua regia. See you in the morning.